Hello my beautiful Disney friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a few things here, a few little goodies um, that are all actually Ariel themed. With the 30th anniversary having just come up for The Little Mermaid, there has been so much great, great, great um, little Mermaid merchandise that was released. I am a little mermaid fan for sure. Ariel was actually the princess I kind of grew up with the most. She was kind of technically my princess. Um, and so I do absolutely love Ariel and I love Ariel's aesthetic and I love Ariel's colors. You guys have probably heard me mention this before. Ariel has the best, best, best colors and I absolutely love them and I love her. Just recently I actually have been redoing my office, I've been trying to organize things a bit better, put certain things on certain shelves, and I actually realized I have quite a bit of Little Mermaid merchandise. She's actually probably the princess I have the most of. Again, I think that's just more so aesthetics than anything. Ariel's a very popular princess, so she's also very easy to kind of attain, um, and I'm totally fine with that. Um, so yeah, there's been a few things that I have picked up recently that I definitely wanted to share with you guys. So the first thing I'm going to be sharing is actually, I wasn't even actually planning on sharing this with you in this little video. Um, I've actually already shown him on my Instagram, but since we are talking about Ariel and some of the Ariel things that I've gotten recently, in the 30th anniversary, I might as well show you good old daddy. Oh my goodness, yes, I love King Triton. He is hot. I have always, always, always thought that King Triton was hot. I really like him, but I mean, I was scared of him as a kid. Like, growing up, the way he treated Ariel, the way he talked to Ariel, um, like, he was just worried for her. But, you know, as a little kid watching this movie, like, I was scared of him. Like, he was, like, a mean dad. Now, as I'm older, and I'm an adult, and I have kids of my own, I'm like, oh yeah, boy, I get you. I get you good. So now I'm totally, totally in love with him. I love that they released this pop. I love that it's an entire pop. He's a good side. He's got a good six pack on him. I like that he's like standing on the water. The water is splashing around him. He is just a super, super gorgeous. Moving on to the next thing in this Little Mermaid 30th edition is the Little Mermaid herself. So it is Ariel. She's in this like pop form. Um, so it is a Funko Pop. So here she is inside of this cute little case. And this is kind of like the case that they've had for the 30th anniversary. It's the castle in the background. It's like Atlantis in the background. And it's all a pink. And it's, it's really, really pretty. I really like the packaging on here. So we have like this little viewfinder here of Ariel. And when you open it up, there she is. She looks so cute. And she's got her purse and she has a flounder. So this is really, really nice. There's actually three that you could get out of this collection. So there is Ariel in her mermaid form. And then there's Ursula and Ariel in her dress. This is really, really nice. I'm really happy I found it because... So I found this at Electronic Boutique and it was really cheap. I think it was like $9. So like, yes. And I've actually seen them on Amazon and they were going from anywhere from like $15 to like $40. So I was really, really happy that I managed to see this one and pick it up and put it on my aerial shelf. So if you've been watching me for a little while now, you know that I kind of um, recently developed a new obsession. I don't have many of them yet, but I do have a few. And I saw this one and it was so cute and beautiful. And now there's an entirely new line of them and I really, really want them, but the price is a little extreme. So I'm gonna wait a little bit on it because if you wait, it will go down. Um, but, this is the one that I picked up and it's so cute and I love it and I regret nothing. From the world of Miss Mindy, it is this Ariel. Oh my goodness. I am obsessed with these things. I absolutely love them. Like I did just say, um, Miss Mindy did release an entirely new collection with a bunch of new princesses. Um, and then she did an exclusive Ariel one and an exclusive Ursula one. And oh my goodness, they are beautiful, but like they are $100 I believe if you go on the Miss Mindy website um, 
So I'm just gonna wait a little bit because like I said, I they will go down in price. Like I'm for sure, I'm positive that they will. So I picked this one up. This one I did get off of Amazon and she's just beautiful and I just love her. So this is what she looks like outside of her package and oh my goodness, she's honestly even more gorgeous outside of the package. So she looks just beautiful, all pinup form. I love her sleeves, like they are just so cute and hilarious. She's reminding me of like a little dancer, like a little like um, flamenco dancer or something, like she looks so cute. Her hair is gorgeous, the volume is everything. She's holding her dingle hopper, how like how creative is that? How cute is that? And when you flip her around, this is so cute. She has a starfish in her hair and it's smiling. Like, oh my goodness, yes. How cute and creative is that? As I've said, like, I am totally in love with Miss Mindy. I absolutely love her. I love her creations and like, they're totally a new thing for me now. All right. Moving on to the last thing inside of this little kind of aerial haul is something that I actually had to get specially picked up for me. So I follow a few different like um, pops, pop funko, disc pop, like things like that on Instagram. So I know when what um, you know, pops are coming out. I'm honestly not a huge pop collector. I actually truly do not have that many. Uh, I think they're really cute. I think they're really affordable. Um, but I do pick and choose. It's definitely not something like I go out and I like collect them all. However, a few months ago, I did see the preview for this one and I was obsessed with it. I followed it so closely to see when it was coming out, where it was coming out, and then I found out it was a Target exclusive and my heart broke. I live up in Canada. We do not have Targets, so it is like impossible for me to go and get one. So what do I do? I message my American friends. So I messaged Rowan and I was like, hey, have you seen this? She actually hadn't seen it, or I don't think she had seen it. And she was like, oh my gosh, what is it? Because she loves Ariel. She's one of her favorite princesses. Um, and I said, so Target exclusive is coming out on this date. Will you be able to pick me up one? And she was like, yes. So thank you so much to Ravon for doing this for me. Super appreciate it. Super love you, girl. Mwah! So I, you know, I paid for one and then she sent it off to me. Like, like I paid her for it when she first bought it. And then, so she bought it. And then it got it got to her house because she had to actually order it in because she couldn't get it at her own Target. So she ordered it in, it came in, and then she shipped it off to me to my P.O. box. And she shipped it off to me and she was like, sent me the total for shipping. And I was like, it was it came to like $17. I was like, why the heck is it $17? Like I obviously I trusted her one. I didn't think she was ripping me off or anything. Um, but I was like, I know how much shipping from like Florida to my P.O. box is. So I was like, why the heck is it costing so much money from like Staten Island to my P.O. box? Like it, it kind of seemed crazy to me. And then I went to my P.O. box to pick up my packages and I realized why it costs so much money. It came in this ginormous box. Like this was shipped from Target. Rowan didn't open it, she didn't do anything with it. She literally just got it and then shipped it out to me. So this is from Target. Like, hello Target, I don't think you need this big of a box for the thing that's inside here. Okay, all of that aside though, the thing that is inside of here is the kiss the girl scene. Oh my goodness, I have been obsessed with this since I've seen it. And this is actually the first time I'm actually seeing it because like I said, I don't, you know, have a target up here. I can't actually physically look at it other than look at, you know, my friends who've gotten it. And oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. I have to take this out. I'm literally just throwing boxes everywhere. Okay, so here it is. Oh my gosh. Honestly, it is just beautiful. I am really, really in love and so, so stinging happy with this. I love the water here, like just how they've actually done the water. It is so beautiful. All the fish here spinning up the water. Oh my gosh, and flounder being so cute. And then they have the willows in the back here. And then Sebastian over here. I guess I should do it this way. Sebastian over here. Everything about this is so cute and so perfect. Like this isn't even like a pop. This is like 
this is like a statue. This is exactly this is a statue. This is really, really adorable. I am so stinking happy that I managed to get it. Again, thank you so much for Juan. Like, I am in love with this. I'm so happy I got it for like regular retail price because again, this thing is like selling on like Amazon and eBay and it ain't cheap. There are all of my things inside of my little aerial haul here. Let me know what your favorite was. Um, have you guys been totally in love with Ariel lately? Especially because of, you know, like I said, the 30th anniversary. It's such a huge thing. This is really, really adorable. I'm really loving all the merchandise that they've come out with Ariel and Triton. And they've had some really good Ursula merchandise as well. I just have not bought any of it because I'm like, you know, self-control. But like, there's some really good Ariel art. Ursula merchandise out there too that's really so cool. All right, Twinklers, let me know what your favorite thing out of this video was. No matter what you guys are doing, I hope you're having an absolutely magical day and I will talk to you all real soon. Bye.